this might not be the normal place to start a wine video or to enter into a wine region, but I want to start our journey into Pedernal here and take a look at this incredible white smoke, this white powder all around us, because this is a key part of the terroir of this sub-region that we're gonna visit in San Juan today, Pedernal. We're gonna go meet Paula Gonzalez, the winemaker of Piros, we like to call her Pupi here, and she's going to talk to us all about the terroir and what makes Pedernal quite a special. But for now, we'll just take a nice look at these lime mines that is right here at the entrance to this mountainous subregion in San Juan, Argentina. So to give you some more background to Pedernal, Back in the 90s, nothing existed here. It was very much what you can see right now. <laughs> and now we've got about 800 hectares of vines, but this is very much still no man's land. There is no signal, there are no road signs. <laughs> and at the moment, I think we're lost. <laughs> we're desperately trying to find Pupi somewhere here in the middle of Pedernal, but welcome, welcome to Pedernal. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get there. Amo Juanpi. <laughs> So Pupi, we made it to the very extreme yeah. terroir of Pedernal. Um, can you tell me, can you first of all give us a bit of an oversight, you know, where we are in San Juan, first of all, because yeah. you, you know, you've been living here a few years now making wine. Tell me about San Juan and then let's move to this terroir. Yeah, I mean, thank you for coming here because mm -hmm. we, we are waiting for you. <laughs> we got us! Uh, yes! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, we're in the middle of nowhere right now because we're in Pedernal Valley. Uh, Pernal Valley is a tiny place in San Juan, in the southwest part of San Juan, really close to the Andes. Uh, which we are in at 1,400 meters uh -huh. above sea level. Where I mean, every time we when we talk about San Juan, we always think about sun, the wind, really hot, and here it is quite different because the climate is continental and cold. Uh, and it's a beautiful place to have it's this true. vineyard. Yeah, it's amazing. So this is quite unique because not only for the weather, but also for the soil, because uh, we have a limestone soil that was formed more than 480 million years ago on a seabed. So there is no other wine region in Argentina with the same type mm -hmm. of soil that we have here. So this is the, the, I mean, why it's so special, unique. And was it the soil that first brought people to plant here? Tell me a bit about the history, because back in the early 90s, this was nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you actually get to, to, to this state where we've got about 800 hectares? Was it looking for that soil profile or, or was it something no, else? No, I, I think at the be beginning, nobody knew about this type of soil we have. Uh, but as you said, we are just six, five producers in the whole valley which where we have 850 hectares in total. So it's a small valley, but with a lot of potential. We know that there is a lot of potential, not only for Malbec, but also for Chardonnay, uh, Pinot Noir, because we have the same, as I mentioned, limestone soil, that is the same soil that we, the Burgundy has. So we know that uh, Pinot Noir is going to be like a great wine from here. Uh, and Sauvignon Blanc, Sibra as well. So we're really happy because of the weather conditions that we have, according with the soil, I think we have a beautiful place. <laughs> and the weather is of course very different to Burgundy, even if the soils have a similar yeah. <laughs> composure. And the altitude as well. So tell yeah. us a bit about the kind of climate here. Obviously it's very dry. Yeah. Um, tell us a bit about the kind of the climate 101. Well, the climate we have here, it's continental and cold, mm. which is uh, if we compare with other, to other places in San Juan, as Tulum Valley, uh, the, the weather here, I mean, the temperature ranges from I don't know, 28, 30 degrees Celsius, which is nothing. I mean, it's perfect for the vineyard. And the rain, the average 
rain that we have, rainfall that we have every year, it's 150, 160 millimeter a year. So it is perfect. I mean, of course, we have to water the plants, mm. but we have the, we take the water from the soil now because of the snow melt and that's how we manage. Super, well I know we're going to taste some wine but I just want to point out the incredible aromas that are passing here with all the wind because we've got this incredible thyme, native vegetation oregano. as well. So wild thyme, wild oregano, wild what else have we got here? Harija. Harija which is, which yeah, is the Argentinian herb that you won't from find here. elsewhere. <laughs> exactly, no, yeah, but the, the flavors and everything. Then everything that you're smelling and um, feeling here, then you're going to taste it into the wine because everything goes to the wine and it's like incredible. This is the characteristic from here. Uh, All right, well, beautiful. Let's, let's go taste those wines. Good. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> okay. we, obviously, we're in the middle of a, a soil pit. Yeah. <laughs> Inside. This, this is this is your best soil pit. Exactly. Can you tell us why? What's so special about you know this is the soil pit that really kind of shows us what's so special about Pedernal. Can you talk us through a bit of the, the dirt? Okay, good. Yeah, this is one of our most important soil bed. I mean, plot we have here in the vineyard because we are planted over the slope of the Pedernal hill, descending towards to the valley. And we are in the soil bed, which is 100% limestone soil with limestone rocks coming from the Pedernal hill. That's why we will never see rolling stones here those are with shape uh, because the distance that they were moved is so short that uh -huh. they, they they were not they are not rolling stones. They never became smooth. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. So if you see the color, white color, it doesn't mean that all the limestone rocks has to be white, but because we can find some black rocks, which is limestone, but it's depending the the soil. Uh, so if you see, there is no compaction on the soil. I mean, everything. It's like this, uh, and according to the type of irrigation that we do here, uh, roots are really, really deep, more than 2, 2.5 meters wow, down. Okay. Uh, so if you see a lot of rocks and roots here, which they are really, they are light. And I mean, that's why the, the manage of this mineral is so unique and the wine that we have, the limestone hill map back. <laughs> It is, it is so special for us, uh, we have to taste it. Yeah, that's what I was hinting at. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> and why, where did this limestone come from? Because, you know, this, where, where, how did it get here? Okay, yeah, this soil was formed more than 480 million years ago on a seabed. Mm. So, as I mentioned, there is no other wine region with the same type of soil. So, the closer we get to the Pernal Hill, the more limestone rock we will find. But then if we go closer to the Andes mountain range, we will find some limestone rock, but, but deeper. Okay. So we will find like schist, volcanic rocks, other type of rocks mixed with the limestone rocks. If we go to the, the other side, other of side exactly. So there is a fair amount, even though we've got this calcareous presence throughout Pedernal, there is you know, quite a bit of variability in the, in the soils as well. In this case, we have this plot wine, which is planted over the slope of the Pedernal Hill. But then if we go like 300 meters uh, on the other side, we'll, we will have other type of soil where we will find another style of wine, which is really different, uh, even though the distance is so short. Excellent. Interesting. Get but it. this is, you know, I'm glad that we're tasting this wine because for me, this is one of the, you know, the icons of the region of Pedernal Absolutely. and it really shows that character. And this Malbec, I think it's a new style of Malbec because of the weather, the soil and it's, I think this Malbec is really fresh and also you will find like wild herbs, thyme, harissa, oregano um, and then of course, we manage during the fermentation, we manage the temperature like cold fermentation because looking for to preserve this acidity and I think this when you smell it it's like expressing layers. You smell it now, you will feel some things and then it's go going to appear another flavors and which is amazing. <laughs> Absolutely. What I love about this Malbec and what I love about Pedernal Malbec 
is that you get not only the kind of floral aromas of Malbec, but the wild herbs of the area, but you get this incredible real kind of texture that I think is prop like property of this of calcareous soil. There's this freshness, there's this kind of chalky tension in the palate. And even though it's a very intense wine, because we are at altitude, we've got loads yeah. of sunshine, it's got freshness. And so like it's, it's balanced too. And that's what I think is really stands out for this region. Absolutely, yeah. Why not? Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for getting Thank dirty you. with me. <laughs>